Hello all. In this video, we are going to discuss about shallow copy. Shallow copy. Let us take a class called packet, and this class has property address. This is property, and for this class PKT. Packet. We are creating handles pkt underscore one and pkt underscore two, and we are creating object for pkt underscore one by using pkt underscore one equal to new. And this class also has another property called data. So these two are the properties of the class packet, and we are modifying addr and data using the handle pkt underscore one. That is pkt underscore one. Dot addr equal to ten and pkt underscore one dot data equal to twenty. So a memory is created for this handle pkt underscore one, and in this data will be equal to twenty, and address will be equal to ten. So this pkt underscore one is a handle of class packet. Now, here we are doing shallow copy. The syntax for shallow copy is pkt underscore two equal to. If we want to do shallow copy, we should use this keyword new, followed by the handle which we want to copy from. So in normal object assignment, we don't use this new. In but in shallow copy, we will use this keyword new. So the contents from pkt underscore one will be copied. To pkt underscore two. So before copying of contents, a new memory for the handle pkt underscore two will be created, and the contents from pkt underscore one will be copied to pkt underscore two. So data and addr are copied from the handle pkt underscore one and pk uh, from the handle pkt underscore one. So like this, data will be equal to twenty, and address will be equal to ten. So the so the contents are copied from pkt underscore one handle to pkt underscore two handle. So if we want to make any changes to the data and addr using the pkt underscore two handle, like pkt underscore two dot addr equal to thirty and pkt underscore two dot data equal to Forty. Then this data will be equal to forty, and this data will be equal to thirty. But these changes are not reflected in pkt underscore one handle. The data will be equal to twenty itself, and the address will be equal to ten itself. So if any changes are made to addr in data using the pkt underscore two handle, these changes are not reflected in pkt underscore one. 